Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's BC Gaming Simplified here and we are trying to answer a very simple question. To tighten or not to tighten? People I am addressing to are the people who just bought a GTX 690 but are unsure should they get the Titan instead and jump on the hype train like the rest. It reminds me of the people who bought Medal of Honor Warfighter after buying Battlefield 3 only to find out that they wasted their fucking money. But that's a story for another day. Today we'll cover two topics in two parts, GTX 690 vs Titan and GTX 680 SLI vs Titan. You can check all the specifications before we start right here. These were all taken from NVIDIA's site, so nothing you couldn't check yourself, but hey, it's nice to see it all being compared to each other in one place. So, let's go. Part 1. Let's start with the GTX 690 versus the Titan question. Notice above how I said simple. I was being sarcastic as fuck. It's not a simple question to answer, not even close. The reason why it's not easier to answer is because of all the shared opinions. Go to any forums that have this topic, you will never find a clear answer. At least I never did. Either that or my Google skills suck as sh I, I don't know. Anyhow, what I will do is present the gaming benchmarks between the two on a couple of games, compare some scores as well as overall performance in both cards. So let's see. There's a few things that go in favor of the Titan over the GTX 690. Stuff like um, 690 is a dual GPU card that in most cases acts as if there was an SLI, which means that if you get a Titan, you don't have to wait for stuff like driver optimization, no SLI scaling, no SLI profiles, no potential micro stutter issues, which most likely wouldn't exist, but there's still a lot, there's still a chance. And the Titan has higher VRAM. As games get tougher, the gap between the 690 and the Titan may shrink. GTX 690 has four gigabytes of RAM, two gigabytes in each GPU. It's a dual GPU card. Titan, on the other hand, is a single GPU card, so all these problems that come with the SLI, including the heating problems, are gone. Titan has 6 gigabytes of VRAM compared to the 4 on the 690, but more VRAM does not necessarily mean better performance, as these images will show. Okay, we'll look at these gaming benchmarks from a Hitman, Crisis, some other games, whatever. Now, a lot of people would expect Titan to be a stronger and a faster card, especially with all the hype on the internet these days, but the tests show something else. Now, unless I'm fucking blind, GTX 690 wins in most of these tests by 5-25%, to which may come as a surprise to all of you who thought, well, hey, Titan is newer, more, more hyped, it must be faster, right? Well, most of the benchmarks show Titan being a little behind the GTX 690. Like I said, 5 to 25% doesn't matter. While on Crisis 3 benchmark, you can see right here, the GTX 690 completely obliterates the Titan. The fact that it's a dual GPU partially explains this. Okay, so is it worth the upgrade? To be honest, if anything, it will be a downgrade and a waste of your money. But if you really have extra thousand dollars to spend on a graphics card and you already own a GTX 690, well, maybe get a new monitor or another 690 to put in an SLI or something like that. But exchanging GTX 690 with a Titan, it would be pointless and you would be just going backwards. So don't do it. Part 2. The part 2 of this video will be addressing the issue between the SLI 680 and the GTX Titan. We will look at some benchmarks as well and see which one should you get. When 690 got out, many people did not get it. They got dual 680s instead. Why? They had common sense because it's almost $200 cheaper to get a 6 to, to get a 680 SLI and it offers from 10 to 20% better performance over the GTX 690. Maybe even 30% more if you compare it to Titan. So, you, if you have $800 to spend on graphics cards, 
and you have a graphics card that needs to re be replaced, you got good power supply, you got SLI motherboard. If you got all that, you gotta get a 680 in SLI and play everything in high settings, even with three monitors. You won't make a mistake. My preference is to get a single 30 inch monitor instead of three smaller ones, but you know, everyone's got different tastes. So what's the final verdict? Well, if you got a GTX 690 and you wanna get a GTX Titan, don't. You will be wasting money. If you have nothing and you're thinking about upgrading to either Titan or GTX 690, don't do that either. Get a GTX 680 SLI and it will be all fine. Now, I hope I helped you guys somewhat. Um, you can find all of these products we talk about in the description down below, along with some discounts and whatnot, you know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comment down below in the section. This was PC Gaming Simplified. I love you all guys. Peace.